This is Melda's latest premium instrument called Rewind. It runs in all versions of M Sound Factory and is free for M Sound Factory and M Sound Factory LE owners. Let's see how it works. After you load the instrument from your devices list, you're greeted with this intro screen. This gives you easy access to the most important controls of the synth. To understand what these controls do, we're going to dive right into the generator tab though. At its core, Rewind is a granular sampler. You can select one of 128 samples to run through this granular engine. I'm going to turn off the built-in effects so we can hear the granular processing more clearly. Let's maybe go with this Duduk Low sample. So a granular engine works by playing select fragments of a sample. To see this work more clearly, let's go to the edit page, which you can access through the full version of M-Sound Factory. Here we have our Duduk sample. And the black dots indicate how fragments of this sample get played back. Now with our density knob, we can increase the amount of fragments that get played back. Currently, we have quite few sample triggers. And if we turn this up, you get kind of a unison effect because the sample gets triggered so many times. And size then determines how long the played back fragment of the sample is. Currently we have kind of a sustained sound, right? But if we turn down size, it gets a lot more choppy. If we increase the size, we increase how long the sample fragment is. Currently we have a continuous knob right here with density, but if we enable sync, the density value will jump out in subdivisions according to the BPM, so we can get kind of a delay effect. Another knob directly related to this process of which part of the sample gets played back is this position knob. Currently we're taking a fragment from somewhere around the beginning of the sample, but we can also push that further towards the back. Now our samples get triggered around the three second mark. Another thing to mention, why is this plugin called Rewind? Because most of these samples are reversed. For example, you can see the reversed piano sample right here. So with the piano, if you want a more harmonically rich signal, put the position knob all the way to the top. And if you want a more mellow signal, turn it down. You also have a width control right here, which pans around the playback of the individual fragments a bit. And you can introduce some chaos, detune the signal, or degrade the sound a bit with the dust control. Let's now have a look at the tape loop section. Here you can easily introduce variations of the signal we just created. For example, you can introduce a layer with the half time effect. So it sounds like you recorded it to a tape and now you're playing it back at half speed, which results in a octave down pitch shift. Or you can introduce a layer with the virtual tape played back at double the speed, resulting in an octave up. Or you can add a layer where the virtual tape gets played back backwards, resulting in a reversed sound.
With the slow, medium, fast controls down here, you can select how often the reversed playback part gets refreshed. So fast means shorter segments of the playback gets reversed and slow means longer segments of the playback get reversed. And you also have some nice effects to give this tape some more character with age, wash, regen, and fade. And on this generator tab you also have access to a digital lo-fi effect which adds some digital artifacts and an analog lo-fi effect which adds some analog saturation and artifacts. And with the filter you can of course additionally shape your signal by adding a low pass filter with a bit of resonance, maybe adding an envelope to this with the filter envelope. And you also have an amplitude envelope. Let's select a preset through the preset browser and have a look at the effects tab. We have a chorus. A rotary engine. Starts sounding like a Mellotron with the mellow. That's lovely. And we have a flanger. as well as reverb and delay. And an interesting feature here, you can change the order of these effects by dragging them around or by shuffling them by hitting the die. Lastly, don't forget to check out the master controls down here with some compression, EQ, saturation and width controls. As well as the controls on the globals tab which regard volume, velocity range as well as MPE controls. Thanks for checking out Rewind with me. I have been Sylvan from the channel Santu's Sound Factory. Rewind is currently on discount at a great intro price. And if you don't own M Sound Factory or M Sound Factory Ali yet, consider checking out the 15 day free trial. Thanks for having me again, Melda. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.